Yeah, revisit while I still have a little chance. Still have some time. Onslaught, onslaught. Okay, we're going red. Let me get rid of this. They play Vile. Get the MS Paint ready. So we gotta play Royal Decree for like Radea, and then a Heat Wave, and then Porter. We're gonna Porter seven cards. Yeah, it's a good hand for Porter. I could also score. I might squirrel like a like a thing. Royal decree, huh? That's a little strange. Is this Golden Necker? This might be Golden Necker pirates. Yeah, he thinned the vial for us, so that's good for our thinning. This kind of looks like Golden Necker pirates. We'll see in a sec. Yep, it is. Oh man, he has Ring of Favor. Ring of Favor, COC, Cyprian Wiley. No, my carryover. Mata. Double Bear Witcher. Okay, one Freya. And a Quen. Double Bear Witcher Quen. Um, hmm. All right, so new plan. Beautiful is fear. New plan is we're gonna straight as a the heat wave back because I want a heat wave. I want to have the heat wave. I don't have the spores, right? I'm gonna lose the spores, so I'm gonna. I want to have the heat wave. <laughs> after do not make me beg I want to have the heat wave after I troll Porter that's the plan anything to squirrel nothing to squirrel there's no compass in this deck anymore there's no um that raid card So nothing to squirrel. There is a Peller. Oh, hey, Sintrin. There is a there is a something to Peller, which is the Nova, but I don't know if we'll be able to get a chance to do it. What you looking at? We only had two bronzes left in the deck. Jesus. Cyprian Island Wily banishes a four point card or lower, four power card or lower. So like our Lippy would bring us our um, Roach back, but he could like Cyprian Wily it, and we would lose. Four points on the Lippy. Can I buff Roach? He uses a COC now. Okay. He doesn't play Squirrel. I have to play something here. I guess I could play Porter. He plays four boats. So, like, I kind of like the Scout, but... If I play Porter here, I thin eight? That's so much. And then there's Best Boy, and then there's um, Mask of Ouroboros. I could thin up to like 10. Like, it's way too much thinning. I think I need to play something here that... Um... Okay. Here, we're going to bait the Cyprian. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bait the Cyprian Wily. Nice, Best Boy. Good boy. Good boy. Comes out of the turn right before we want to Porter. Come on, Cyprian Wily this. It's an engine. It's worth three points. Three extra points if you Cyprian it. Because then it would vanish and I wouldn't even have to deal with it after Lippy. We're still thinning seven. Plus one, eight. We're still thinning to two in this round. We're going we're gonna to compass in this round, maybe? We might compass in this round. 
Whoa, already? Huh. Okay, I don't think we play the spores. I don't think we play the spores because I don't want a spores in round three. The spores is really bad in round three. I think we just troll Porter here and click this and then we're ahead. Oh, but I might be down to two cards if I do that. Oh, yeah, I am. Hmm. Uh. 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 Hmm. Shoot. Oh, I could I should have discarded the sword, you're right. I actually that's that's so oh my god, yeah. That was way better. He doesn't see the pass, I guess. I should have discarded the sword that gives me the echo. If he passes, we're not milled. And then if he doesn't pass, we can use the tome to get the compass. And we would get sword back and redate. There would be not much left in the deck. But I yes, I should have My bad you type too slow. No, it's okay, it's not. You're fine. So now what? <sighs> now it's kind of awkward. Now I play sword? What do you play from? He bricked an artifact. His Heron Kaduke is in his hand. And he also bricked a Freya. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh jeez. Demon! Maybe I should have tried to leader this to see if I could kill it with the Arendite. Looks like his only boat. Got a lot of value from these. What's he still likely to have at this point? He probably doesn't have the Nova. He would have played the Nova. Um, maybe he has Quen. Oh, he has Heron Kaduk. Heron Kaduk definitely in his hand. Quen. Maybe Commander's Horn, maybe Terror of the Seas, maybe Bjorn. Bear Witchers. Bear Witchers less likely, they would usually mulligan it. Anis. Far left. Or maybe we should play a back row. Oh, he had a pass. He didn't. He didn't take it. Double the coin and consider it. kind of bad. I did not like that. That was a bad play by me. He's not passing though. Um, I can't risk this scalp because I might draw the axle and not the compass. Play random card. That's so risky. This is 
just do this for now. I mean, I guess if we get Axel, we can then shoot play random card. Let's get this over with. Need a hand. Just chop one off. I need 13 now. This is eight. I need a double leader. Hmm. I think it's worth it. Don't you pester me. We got the compass. So do we even stay ahead here? If we stay ahead and he passes, I still have to play the compass. Hmm. I think we play. I think we stay ahead, actually. Maybe I can set up a tier? Nice. I set up a carry over a tier. So if he passes here, we go tier to get some care. Oh, wow, he had the knife of the whole time. He had the Nova actually the whole freaking time. I'm gonna think if it matters when we play this. Then we shoop. Okay, nice. Uh, is it? Is it enough? Oh, I need 13 now. I need 13 now. So if I take four, if I take a 14, so if I take shoop knight and I don't hit the 10, oh my god, this is so risky. <laughs> Dude, this is so risky. Would it be better for me to pass? Yeah, I, I'm counting the boat. It's a it's a 90% chance that Shoop Knight will give me enough points to get ahead. I don't think we pass. Oh wait, sorry, I already played Room Mage. Never mind. I played Room Mage. It doesn't matter. Good Best Why did I think it was only a, why did I think it was a risk? I don't know. Okay. That's good then. Win on even, but him with carryover, me without. But we get the lippy now. Okay, what does he still have left? He has Cyprian. Cyprian. Oh, he actually doesn't play Bjorn? Oh no, he does. Cyprian, Bjorn. Cyprian, Bjorn, Commander's Horn, Double Divin Pirate. And Bear Witcher. And like three boats. <laughs> I need to rely on some good top decks though. Like, we do have quite a few bad top decks in there. This will get us up ahead by seven. And then what can what can he potentially have? If he drew a Bjorn, he has seven points, right? I think if he drew a Bjorn, he has seven points. So I think this ties. This ties and we win. Ah, uh, damn. Ogre Black Hand's taking our new swabbies. Do you see? And the same with like Horn. Horn would have been also a win if he had Horn. Or if he had Range Rowboat, we also win. So like it was actually a really good shot of 2 0 there.
The nuts. <laughs> the nuts, dude. Is a Bjorn for like seven? You wanna pass, you gotta pay. Can't let you through elseways. That's gonna be the heatwave target. GG's. He doesn't even wait to see what we have. We could have two really bad cards. <laughs> nice. Woo! Hey Lucifer, how you doing? Fire 9 is so good now. It's okay. I think 9 power base strength unit is not like that much. Like the 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 increase of power from 8 to 9 is not as good as an increased power from 7 to 8 because you put yourself into into Geralt of Rivia range and you're starting to you're starting to put yourself out there as the tallest unit for you to get your head chopped off by like a heat wave or a coc um so it, it's really Just not that much better remember to drink loads of water yeah thank you i am out of water i should go get some you think raging bear needs a buff to nine yeah i think raging bear is like more of a worthy buff card to nine than dimmon pirate maybe <clears throat> Watch your head. Oh my god, we're red coin with so much to mulligan. Okay, rune mage and then curse scroll, Rodea. Maybe is the way. Rune mage, curse scroll, Rodea, play this. Play this. Uh, oh, okay. It's on my own. Hmm. Hmm. Whenever an enemy unit gains status during your turn, we're not going to give it status, right? I think Diviner... I think it's just Diviner. Diviner can give us... Diviner's not the worst in round three because it has Assimilate, it has uh, the Purify. They're going to be playing Poisons. We're going to go back row, Rodea. Did you ever play Sintrin's Lippy deck? I did. I did play it. Um, it's various versions over a few months. It's even more big brain than... It's even more big brain than our deck. Kind of annoying. 15 health. We can do 5 damage with this and 13 damage. It's not going to be enough to kill it. So it kind of looks like that lives. That's pretty bad. Don't have the heat wave, don't have the shoot right now. Okay. <sighs> so much carryover. Enemy veins. My Red Haze? Red Haze what though? <laughs> uh, it's not likely that we're going to get a big enough Red Haze to kill it, and then there's going to be too much power on the board for the Reckless Flurry to finish it off. I'm going to go get some water.
mysteries of this world. The mystic curse scroll. They are. Well, that's really bad. Missing the curse scroll is super bad. Just one more feather, and we're done. Hey, thanks, Solid Snake. How you doing? OG streamer still carrying on. Yeah, thanks. Go with this for now. And then, um... Maybe, like, Scald next. Scald to discard Best Boy. We also have, like, we could play Red Haze, but, like, the longer we stay in this round, the more problematic it's going to be. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a Red Haze on the Sentry. I still kind of want to fight for this round. He hasn't played Saskia, so I don't want to give up the round without him playing the Saskia. I'm saving this in case he has a poison. Who am I to kill? Okay. That's pretty oof. We are red coin. We epidemic that now. Spores is looking. Spores is like nine points already at this point, on the Dana. All the important stuff is trending in the right direction. Nice. Right here. This is going to be really tricky to, to Lippy. I don't think we're going to have enough thin to Lippy here. Like, we're at 11 cards. We need to thin 9. We need to thin 9 with 7 cards in our hand. No, 6 cards in our hand. If he passes now. Okay. Don't you pester me. Um. I would discard the spores. Because... Spores is actually okay for later. Any plans on making a list for upcoming balance council next week? So okay, now we need to thin. We need to thin eight. If we get the thinning with the best boy, we need to thin seven, and then we can thin maybe a six if you count arcane tome. Shoot. Mm, this is so weird. I gotta get rid of some stuff. I think we gotta get rid of the arcane tome here. Oh, shit. That's not good because I wanted to royal decree porter for thin. So like if I if I shoop and then royal decree porter for thin, then we're gonna have we're gonna thin five. We're gonna still have five cards in our deck, then four cards. Then three cards. Then we have to have him click the arcane tome. We're relying on him to click the arcane tome. Oh man. That mulligan was that mulligan was so bad. That mulligan was super bad. Okay, let's try this. Got a death wish. I think we try this and then we because I can't I can't go shoot play a card right now. It's too RNG. The shoot Oh at Best Boy came out in the first turn! That's huge! Um shoot play a card right now is too RNG, but after we 
after we thin with the troll porter, then shoot play a card might be okay. Um, and then like we also want shoot for for destroy artifact for scenario or destroy random enemy for Saskia. I think we're still really kind of hoping that he plays the clicks the arcane tome. Like he might have a call of the forest or roll the Kree in his deck that he wants to get with the arcane tome. One arrow. That is all I need. No choice but to take the porter here. I I have Give him the poison. That's bad. Eek. Hmm. This would have been. I mean, at least we at least we have two specials in the deck. Hold the line. Okay. Sleepy, Holy shit, dude! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. I think we tome into Shoop, into. <laughs> no. Okay, I think I think we full leader here trying to kill the miner. And then we tome into shoop and destroy a random enemy. We YOLO! Holy crap, we almost sniped it. And then this pisses him off so much. <laughs> this pisses him off so much that he clicks the arcane tome out of rage. Oh, it's clickable. It's clickable. He clicks the arcane tome out of rage and then we get our compass. Oh my god. You do it. Yes, he's clicking it. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Right, I think I think I he's when he when it started deciding he was kind of hovering over his uh, the arcane tome. I think he's clicking it right now. Yes, yes, we're completely in his head, Red Free, and he can't resist the poison. No, he doesn't know. It isn't luck if you call it. I mean, it was all planned, right? It was super planned. I think we heat wave first. And then we Lippy so that we can get the Heat Wave back. Heat Wave will be good again later. Either on Scenario. He plays, he plays 5p um, Sorcerers. We don't have a... We don't have a best... This is a 7-point Lippy. But the Morkvark could be still good with the Scald and the Rodea later. And we have a Big Arendite. Oh, and he, can, he might click it again! You might click the Arkin's home again. <laughs> He's insane. For a Dryad's caress? Really? You clicked for a Dryad's caress? Bruh. Bro. Beautiful is of fear. No, but I'm gonna do. Oh, oh yes. Oh. What will you do? Do I do shoot destroy random here? I mean, killing these dryads aren't that good. I think we just Arandite as gnome, and then we pass. I think we Arandite is Gnome and then we pass. And we're gonna have Shoop, Arandite, Rune Mage, Axel. He might click again here. Oh, he doesn't have any more. Uh, now I could take a Shoop random destroy. I guess it would have been maybe better to do a Shoop random destroy last turn and then Arandite this turn. Technically, maybe not because I did gain. I did gain some boost. I gained one boost. 
Uh. Fuck it. Let's do it. Screw it! <laughs> Dude, this guy got shoot random destroyed twice in the same round, and it hits the vest unit both times. A 1 and 2, and a 1 and 3. Oh man. And he has a heat wave, and he two we two zeroed him. Can you believe we actually got a two zero from this round two? We came in with a seven point lippy, Mork Barg in hand. <laughs> he he wrote his own death sentence by clicking that tome. He gave us such a good like, we were we were in a really bad spot if he doesn't click the tome. Super bad spot if he doesn't click the tome. Oh man. YouTube this game, yeah. I think we're gonna YouTube this game. We're gonna YouTube one of the uh, Infinite Firestorm games too. Maybe over a couple days. Yeah, clicking the tome when we have three cards is nothing a, a good player that understands what deck he's playing against would ever do. But maybe he just never seen the deck before. Oh man. I want to play um I want to play Monsters Expedition but that was such a like I feel like that was such a good game that I kind of want to go again but you know it's not going to top that. Ah, what do? Blaze of glory. <laughs> of course, friend. Okay. We got to win round 1. Preferably on even. This is way too many golds. I see so many golds here. More golds. Oh no, the worst gold. Maybe it's a troll porter round two type of game. Yeah, okay. We could do that. Troll porter round two type of game. Right? Like he how long is he gonna stay in the round when we start jamming Shu Perdea, Axel, Rune Mage? Only one will walk away from this. The likes of overseas plundering and springtime. Man, he plays a skirmisher. Is he playing one skirmisher just for the stratagem? He plays a skirmisher. Hmm. We'll do this first. We'll just see what happens. Gets us ahead. Throws our Aerondite. We technically could troll porter in this round if we go Royal Decree Strays of Spala to get rid of the magic Blood for blood. But I kinda wanna Royal Decree Squirrel now. The stench of beer. I knows it well. I also want to Royal Decree Rune Mage a little bit. But I think Squirrel is probably our, our go-to here. And then do we click? Or maybe we click first and see if we draw the Squirrel. Straight to Spala is fine. What do we discard here? We discard Epidemic to give ourselves an Epidemic for um, Invader later. And then I need to still play five points though. I need to play five points. It's kind of awkward. Hmm. What is this? Life and death entwined as a brain. Five points is awkward because squirrel's only four. I want to play the squirrel, but it's only four. Dude. What are we playing against? Warriors with Skirmisher and Axel? Blades of Glory? What's happening? I think I'm gonna go get the Squirrel now. And I'm maybe gonna use a leader charge. I could also believe in 30% best boy, but that seems kind of like a real high roll. Maybe we heat wave the Axel? 
It's like maybe he wants the Fakusia. Fakusia has good targets, so not really worth it. I don't think it's really worth it. I think we're just gonna do the squirrel before he passes. And then we'll lead her once. I don't love using the leader because I think with two leaders you could kill the tier. And best boy came out! Damn it, we didn't need to lead her. Better to heat wave Vabjorn? No. None of these are worth heat-waving because he has so many options for Fakusia. Fakusia this is good, Fakusia this is good, Fakusia this is good. Um, I think we'll probably just play slow now. Hey, listen here, listen well. Mm. Aww. He should be devotion, right? What do you guys want to um? What do you guys want to discard here? Maybe maybe Heat Wave? I think Heat Wave might be... Well, no. I guess not Heat Wave. I guess we'll discard Rockfar Warrior. I'm, I'm getting to the point where like we can't really get the Legendary anymore off of this compass. It's getting scary. He has so much bloodthirst. Good lord. Um, should I play Shoop? We could play Shoop for random card here. That will help us with the thinning problem a little bit. There's a couple of bad outcomes, like Morkvarg Spor Spores is at 4. Morkvarg is a bad outcome. Red Haze is a bad outcome. But like, right now in round 3, we need to thin 5. Still doable. Still doable, but it's not amazing. Yeah, it would be really nice to get Horn. Oh, I didn't... Oh, shit. Human shoot, say! Nice to kill the crow. They didn't remove shoop weather, just it's not it's not often very good. Okay, he passes. Okay, we went on even. We went on even. We still have a decent round length for round two. To get the troll porter. I think we're fairly happy about this. I need to get rid of these two, and then like maybe straight as follow the heat wave away, or oh I have someone my god. I have so many cards that I want to mulligan away. So we stray the Spala away the... I think we stray the Spala away the horn. Get rid of the horn. Then thin... One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw everything. Oh, I could heat wave this. We'll follow you always. I mean, this heat wave isn't that good. This heat wave is only really six points, right? Um, yeah, it's not that good. I do not like playing Arcane Tome versus Raids. Plus, we don't even have anything good to Arcane Tome. Okay, so we're just doing this. Out of way. More fog right on top. But we got the compass. That's the important part. And we're hoping that we don't miss a gold. Oh, we missed the horn. Damn. Damn. Perfect. It would have been perfect if the horn was in the hand instead of the morph card. But if the bottom card and the top card switch places, that would have been perfect. What faction do we go here with Rune Mage? Or maybe we, we play Lippy now. Actually, we play Lippy now. We don't want this, the runestone in there. Ha, that 
Random Heime scale. <laughs> I don't even know if that's that good. Because we have to play a 4 and then we upgrade... We upgrade something to a, to a commander's horn, which is good, but then we also put that in the graveyard and the and the runestone before our um, lippy. Hmm. Thinking about passing soon. I think we do want to play the rune mage before we pass because we want to be able to threaten shoop seas in round three at the beginning of round three. Uh, what is the most points on this board? I don't... SK? Oh, SK, yeah, Bear Witcher? Demon Pirate? <laughs> okay, YOLO! You wanna pass, you gotta pay. Okay, so it ended up playing for like... Six. I got rid of Best Boy. Damn it, boy! Why didn't you come out right away? Skelligar and Sinter shall stand ever together. Okay, he's ahead, but he's now we've gotten his leader combo. Gotten his leader combo. We're not gonna get our card back. So now it's the question of how many cards we want round three to be. We have an Arendite that's like so so. It's probably not growing that much from ten. Um one, two, three, four. We kind of really only want four, maybe five cards at most. Probably just four cards. Yeah, so I think we trade the red haze and the spores. And maybe even, we might even Arendite here. If you play slow, Arendite gets us ahead again, and then we can like grow the Arendite in this round. This is first Aaron Knight, yeah. Not gonna be able to play Compass for Oh, this deck plays Iced and Svanriga. Wow. That's kind of greedy. He plays Iced and Svanriga. That is really weird, right? Because you a lot of people are gonna kill your iced on the turn that you play iced, and then your Spanriga is gonna be. Can I can you hero pass me? I have exactly 19. Exactly enough to tie. I'm gonna bleed one more. Then I don't trade. I don't think we trade Morkbark. I think we trade Arendite because Arendite's Echo, anyways. He was holding this for another discard. He just like scowled or oh, discard package. He actually played Skjordal before the Skirmisher, huh? That's weird. That's really weird. Does Tier? Second form discard or put in the graveyard? Hmm. Sand is fine. Sand is probably the best. We can Royal Decree the Redea to get rid of the Morkbarg and then hopefully draw into one of these two and then compass into the other two, in, into the other one. Hopefully they're both like near the top of the deck. He has greatsword to take though, not just invader, he greatsword. He did take the greatsword, it's a 20 point greatsword. <clears throat> I think it's too risky to go for compass here. It's way too risky to go for compass here. First, like we'd want we need Shoop in the top three to go for compass. I think we probably just go Arendite. No, I, I can't get this. I can't get the Shoop. And even if Shoop were in the top three, these two might also be in the top three, and then the comp compass would discard them. And then we're super screwed. Mm 
I think we just do this. We lose one point, maybe a little bit more. Oh my... Oh my god. Raw. So he has probably two reactive cards. <clears throat> Do we lose if we don't get Shoopsies? I mean, this is 14. 14 plus 4, 18 points. We have 18 points on our Royal Decree. 22 points. We're down 4 right now. We're only down 4, chat. We are only down 4. I think you guys are freaking out about the Shoop. No. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, chat. To feel, there is nothing. Um, I don't think we click yet because of like primal savagery or something. But shoot plays for 44. Yeah, if we get shoot, we auto win. Ew. A bite. Just one more. We would have gotten it. No. Uh, okay, I will make it up to you guys. Do we go destroy? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many points do we have? He has six more. We have eight more. So we're up. To, we're at twenty. We're down nine. If I go destroy random enemy. I would either be up 6 or up 17. 50% chance to be up 17. I think that's going to be enough to win. We just take the destroy. We don't need to seize. We just take the destroy. Ah! Oh, damn it. Punished! Punished for not memeing for the content. No, <laughs> and we so lose. Sash. Uh, we would tie with Axel. We would tie here with Axel. Deserve it. <laughs> oh man. Ah, never, never disrespecting chat again.